Hey guys, so I'm getting ready for episode five and we're here at William Street Beer Co. And I'm meeting with the girls from the Sip and Shop, which is a fundraiser for the Northumberland Hills Hospital. So let's go talk to Natasha and Britt. got Britt Parker and Natasha Jacobs and we're gonna chat about the event um, called Sip and Shop and this is your second annual? Second year, yes. Right. yes. Mm -hmm. And so is it directly related to the Vandermeer father-daughter ball? Got it in there? Yeah, <laughs> it is actually. So we originally thought of this event because it was a kickoff event for mums. And last year we did it very female focused. This year, because we're at William Street Brewery, we want to welcome the gentlemen. Yeah. We want to have mm -hmm. women and men at the event. Right. Uh, we will be sipping on beer sangria and yeah. wine and other beer. Uh, we have non-alcoholic drinks as well. And then we have some amazing vendors that are coming this year. And new this year as well mm -hmm. is a DJ. So oh. we will be dancing. Yeah. Nice. We'll also be eating. So oh. we have a new oh, food sweet. vendor this year. Um, it's a local guy out of Port Hope. Okay. His brand name is Nosh and Nourish and he has a well, you pulled together a great tasting menu for us. Um, and you guys came to me last year uh, and asked if I would be a sponsor last year. Yes. Um, and I said, of course. And so then you said, hey, do you want to come back this year? And I said, <laughs> <Right> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I'm super excited about it. There was an awesome turnout last year. We're having it here at William Street. We love William Street. They're huge supporters of the hospital, huge supporters of the community. Absolutely. So why not come back and support them as well? So, you know, for sure. Yeah. The event starts at seven o'clock, the doors will be opening, okay. and then we don't have an official close time. So mm. it will depend on how things are going. That's it. Right. All the vendors that are here uh, for our event are donating a percentage back of their sales, which is amazing. So, good. so okay. Shop the Authentic is coming with their clothing line. So Jesse was here last year. Yeah. yeah. We have Meredith coming from the local Bloom. So yeah. flowers and other little gifty ideas. Um, we have Lee Higginson with Flute Crafts, Perfect. so she has a range of different crafts and ideas yeah. and different things she's bringing. And then we have uh, Lori coming with Stella and Dot, and then we have Adrian coming with Beauty Counter. So we'll also good. have another wine raffle, which was a huge success last year. There so were we so many good bottles. So many really, really good bottles that yeah. are donated from awesome people in the community. It sounds like a party, yeah. right? Yeah. Like it's, yeah, it's sip, spring, shop, party. Right? People want to get out. That's it. Right. Um, the other thing is that we have um, people who want to donate a dress. So let's oh, say right. you come to the ball a few years and your daughter's outgrown their dress. You don't know what to do with it quite yet. You could drop it off at the foundation or give us a call. We can pick it up and resell those dresses at this event for $20. The, the father-daughter ball, it's for, it's geared towards girls and their dads at, so what age? So it's 4 to 12. Um, okay. It's just sort of a, it's an awesome event, awesome evening. Um, the dads come with their daughters or grandfathers or uncles or whoever's right. sort of a father figure or friend in your life that wants to bring your daughter, you know, they come out, have a like, dinner, dancing, raffle prizes, silent auction. So Vandermeer Toyota is our signature sponsor for that event. Um, and we've been putting on for, this will be our fifth year. And so far the uh, Vandermeer Father Daughter Ball has raised almost $50,000 oh, for wow. the Northumberland Hills Hospital. So, you know, we're so proud of it. and. The committee that puts it on, there's just a, a big, I want to say 15 or so, 12 to 15 We've of been us. Growing and, really? Yeah. yeah. Mostly females on the committee? Oh, yeah. It's, okay. like, it's all moms, basically. Okay. <laughs> and um, we all just get together and have our meetings. And, you know, they've been with us for the full five years. Most of these okay. women were bringing on some new members. And, oh, neat. Yeah, it's awesome. So, you know, huge shout out to all of them. It's uh, uh, They are just like awesome ladies who want to give back to the community. And, and then we have Amazing. some like our <coughs> resident on our committee photographer, Elaine Yates. She'll mm. be there to sort of take photos of everybody. And then also um, Beyond Signs and Design has done a ton of design um, work for us and all of our printing stuff. He's been with us from the very beginning as well. So. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. And so, this year you'll have video as well with, that's right. with Christina. That's yes. right. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. Yeah. So you guys have been essentially in Coburg for all of your lives. So we moved here when I was three. Okay. So we've been here, well, now I have to give up my age. Um, <laughs> well, almost 40 years I've Not lived many people in can around do that this area. Of <laughs> I know, right? Ah. Um, so I grew up here. My parents still live in the family farm that I grew up in just outside of Port Hope. So mm -hmm. I was a Port Hope girl. 
um, mm. went to school, elementary school in Port Hope. Okay. Went to high school, though, in Coburg, so went to the West Well, because you guys school. are like, it's kind of right in the middle Yeah, so just right? north of the yeah. 401. And to be honest, we went to high school in Coburg because we couldn't get a bus to Port Hope, which is hilarious with ah, the Port Hope right. That's funny. But, you know, that's small town, right? So yeah. Close, yeah. I totally like Bart. At um, at Green Canoe. Canoe, he was like that. Oh. You know, you could go either way. Whereas well, he was our neighbor growing up. Oh, so really? His parents still live behind my parents. I considered oh. like country neighbors. Right. So I went away after, like, went to university in Hamilton, and then lived out of Northumberland. Okay. And then moved back actually when I met Trenum. Mm. And, oh, and so, and you you came to Northumberland when? Natasha? I was eight. eight. I want to say yeah. Okay. I was like grade two. So okay. um, when we moved to Coburg. My grandmother moved first, loved the town, mm. loved it. We um, came, I think my aunt then came, and then we came, and we actually took over one whole street. Really? So, amazing. D- like on Daintree Crescent, there okay. were four D'Amatoses at one point. That's living incredible. Living like two doors down from each other. Yeah. And I mean, so my aunt and my mom are still on Daintree, and then really? we just sort of amalgamated into two houses. My grandma's in one, okay. another grandma in another. So, yeah, so we've been here for a long time. You've so been back here for I've how long? I've been back then? here now for seven years. So, yeah, we love it here, and it's an awesome town to uh, bring up families and uh, yeah. live and grow and work and play and all those things. Mm-hmm. You know, we love it here, yeah, for sure. Could you guys imagine being anywhere else? No. 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 Where could we talk to you at a, a pub true. in the middle of the day? Yeah. Drinking yeah. beer sangria, beer sangria yeah. which is right? delicious. Yeah. So many good people in this town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I find really, really cool though as well, like it's it's an inclusive um, town. Like so, like obviously I didn't grow up here, so Jeff did. But like, like you guys have known each other forever. But like I still can, like you guys have welcomed, Mm -hmm. you know, me and so many other newcomers into you know into the circles, right? This is the signature (laughs) move. (laughs) Come, come. But no, like I think it's I think that's amazing though. Like so, like I, I just find and. Maybe it's it's easier coming this way than you know going into a, a bigger city yeah, because it's because maybe. yeah like there's there's so many great people and and always willing to to meet and there's always something going on there's just good people so April Friday April 26 starts at seven, seven o'clock seven so come Perfect. pop in stay eat drink it's gonna be fun thanks guys thank yeah you. thank you. Thanks.